Alrighty, well I'm gonna give you the alternative route of tying egg sacks. You know, a lot of times people, either it's their first time out or, you know, they want to catch kings, they want to catch steelhead, and they just don't have the access to the eggs. So on the alternative route of not going to a bait shop and buying them, you go to any store and you can pick up Potsky eggs. Now, yeah, pink work for trout, red works for trout, but when you're steelhead fishing, you kind of always want to keep that natural look and natural presentation, you know. And those steelhead eggs are usually like a yellowish, a little orange, you know, depending on the fish. So the alternative route of doing it is you know, buying eggs off the counter and jar. We catch a lot of fish that way, but it's, hey, it works. I'm going to give you the three most magical eggs that I think are the best to tie in sacks and catch a lot of steelhead now. You always, like I said, you want to keep it those natural colors, so keeping it the orange deluxe, it's a really good color, the yellow jacket, and the natural deluxe. Now, these fish just like a freaking fresh egg, you know? Fresh eggs, if you don't have access, these are perfect for that. And they smell... They're cured, they won't go bad, so you can fish this next year, two years, as long as you have the jar. So we'll get into uh, tying these sacks and I'll show you how many eggs to put in the sack and what works best. Alrighty, well I'm going to show you guys how to tie these real jarred salmon eggs in the sack. So we'll start off with the natural deluxe. Now, I'll take about three to five eggs a sack of these here, so we'll go with a three banger first. Three eggs and some chartreuse Atlas Mike netting. I'll take this. I like to roll it up just a little bit. Keep it in my hands, twist it. One, do two twists. Then we'll take some Atlas Mike Miracle Thread. Now this stuff is a, it's like a real elastic type of thing, so it cinches on itself. So I'll do three wraps around it. Pull tight on it. Three more wraps, pull tight, and then I'll do another three wraps, pull tight, and snap it off. And uh, the reason I do that is I like to just cinch those knots down. So, you know, sometimes when you're fishing swift current, your eggs will open up because you didn't wrap them and pull them tight enough. Alrighty, now we'll go on to the second egg. These are Potsky's Yellow Jackets here. Now, these eggs have a little bit of a yellowish tint to them, that golden color like those real salmon eggs have. So, we'll take the same. It's pretty much the same method as the... Natural Deluxe, I'll take three or four of these eggs here, uh, put them in some pink netting, and it's going to be the same process. I like to take it, take the corners, meet the corners, grab all the corners in my hand, and then I give two wraps on that, and I grab some Miracle Thread. Now, the easy trick to this is I always like to take this finger here and I'll just pinch it in between those two fingers and give it three wraps, cinch, three wraps, cinch, three wraps, cinch it, and then just pop it off. Alright, now we moved on to the Orange Deluxe here. Now, let me tell you a little bit something about the Orange Deluxe. As you see, you know, a lot of your eggs are like that goldenish color, but sometimes you got to keep your options open. And as you see, they have an orangish tint to them, but... If you take a look at these eggs, they feel, smell, and they actually look like a real salmon egg, which they are. So, and they're about the same size of a steelhead egg, so that's kind of what you want to be fishing is that steelhead egg. And as you see, we'll grab three, four of these eggs and put them in this peach netting. Fold your four corners. Give you two wraps here. Then we will take this Atlas Mike's Miracle Thread. Now, the reason why I like using this so much, there's a lot of other brands out there, but this stuff is like a real good elastic and it's a thinner profile. I don't like to have those huge real knots. I don't like those different colors either, but hey, I mean, a lot of people are different and a lot of people have good success. And this stuff is super simple. It just cinches down on itself. So you give it three wraps, give it a snug, three wraps, give it a snug, three more wraps, snug and snap off and you're ready to go pretty much you know what I mean you got it sometimes you can pull that tag in and just snap it off again and it cinches those eggs down real nice and you'll never have a problem it never bags never rip open or you know have problems with the current or anything like that all right now that you've seen us tie these natural deluxe yellow jackets and orange deluxe up in atlas mike squares 
and cinch them off in Miracle Thread. We're on our final step pretty much, you know, you're ready to fish pretty much is what you're ready to do. Now that we have our three egg cluster, I like to take my scissors. Sometimes you don't want to use a good pair of scissors, like your kitchen scissors, you know, you have a good egg scissor. Real close to that Miracle Thread cinch knot, just snap it off. You don't want to leave a lot of uh, mesh up there. You want them just like that. All right, now we're on the yellow jackets, tied up in the Peach Atlas mic, and uh, cinched off in Miracle Thread. Well, uh, like I said, you want to get real close to where you tied that Miracle Net, Miracle Thread, and just cut it off like that. You want to get them close to that bag. You don't want to leave a lot of excess. You want to keep that nice, clean sack rolling down the creek. You don't want all that dancey stuff going on. Now we're over to the Orange Deluxe, tied in pink. Same thing, you want to get close to that knot. You know, if you don't get it the first time, you just go back in and trim it a little bit. and Nice clean knot. Clean eggs, clean knot. Great fishing eggs. Alrighty, as you see, we're at our final process here. And uh, look at these eggs, they're great. You know, they look, smell, they even feel just like a real salmon egg, you know. And it's a great opportunity for people that doesn't, that don't have fresh eggs, you know. And you can have very good success ratio on fishing jarred eggs just like these. You know, the best part about these eggs are you can pick them up in the store for a couple of bucks and you could tie hundreds of sacks. And I tell you what, you know, sometimes people don't like harvesting fish. So this alternative route right here can be the best thing for them. You know, you can catch twice as many fish on jarred eggs just like this for a couple bucks. And you can keep your hands clean too.